I'll be honest, um, I don't regret uh, going for easy mode for this one, because holy fucking shit, does this thing just continuously throw lots of people at you. Hello, I'd like to welcome, welcome all back to the Kako Awards 2010, because we're past 2009. Um, entry number three, which, uh, what was entry number three? Oh yeah, it was the Curse of Dispattle, which we're playing right now. Right here, right now. Come on, come all! Admire the magnificence of this video game! Pew, 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 pew. You're all gonna die. But yeah, I'm not kidding. Um, this, this fucking boss just goes crazy. Um, I understand some people like it rough, but the amount of... Here's just a bunch of dude in a strategically disadvantageous position. Now go fuck yourself. A little extreme. A little extreme, if you ask me. Whew. There's a fucking model jar right here. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this fucker? I also forgot that in Heretic, you actually lose all your items down to one. There's no reason to hold on to anything, really. Where do you come from? Yeah, he really loves fuck our goals. We're just flying enemies in general, which are goddamn awful. Like, having beaten this and having cheated at the final level because it's just fucking bullshit. You have to fight like three disparals at once or something. I don't know where they are. I think they're disparal, actually, yeah. Oh, you don't have the fucking staff yet. Get that one soon enough, though. Just look at this! I have to fight this motherfucker. Just like this. I think this really feels like a post-game. Like, this was made to be, like, at the end of everything else. And at the end, the ammo uh, ammolessness kind of picks up again, because it's like, oh, you have all the weapons? Well, here's just you needing to use all those weapons, because you don't get any ammo. Even the fire mace just gets very little use. I understand the fire mace is a bit powerful, but come on. Doesn't mean you can't have it floating around. I think I'm gonna go and, and just cheat and keep the map around, because I'm kind of... I gotta use the Rings of Wrath for that, don't I? Rings of Wrath, you don't keep, so whatever, I'll use it when I can. Chaos device. Why does it even give you a return button? It's not like escaping situations is that much of a problem. This one doesn't really ever throw, like, ledges at you that you can't ordinarily scale. So it's like, really? You're gonna put that in? You're really gonna have to, boy. He's gonna make you. So this part's kind of cool because it's like really compressed. Man, this is cool. And also, I had a dream that I could fucking remember for once. That was peachy keen. I enjoyed having dreams that I can remember. See, the amount of fucking times that he just uses a whole bunch of saber claw spam is just ridiculous. Really? That's how you're gonna treat your player? It's just, here's a bunch of saber claws. Go deal with them. Why do these things give you three if, like, the full big smacker gives you ten? Like, it clearly implies that the ones they drop and the ones that exist in the world are different items, because otherwise they wouldn't have that, because that it would be halves, and that's not how it works. But yeah, the upper path is definitely a good one to start off with. I'm turning on Wrath Map for a damn good reason. And you'll learn that in a moment. Um, the top half of the map does not appear without Rav Map. And that's a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. Because that place is pretty big and pretty confusing. Ugh. So excuse me if I'm going to get a bit liberal with this crap. Like, I've already done this and I'm still like, no, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit.
man, I've got my thoughts elsewhere. Normally I can't focus, and it's just like, I can't focus on, on like, meditation, but now I literally just can't focus on, like, just playing the fucking game and talking. My brain is elsewhere. I've got a lot of things in my head right now, cause fuck. Just cause fuck. Yeah, I heard your fuckers. I ain't deaf. Yeah, it, it just lingers on the fucking web. It's like, you get the fire mace in the second to last level, and it's like, really? You're gonna give me this now? It's like, yep, I'm gonna give you this now, and you, you can go suck a cock if you feel that's unfair or something. I, I'm just gonna do this. I'm sick and freaking tired of this, because I really can't hear it. anything. Anything. I constantly keep hearing the, and I'm like, where's that from? And I just don't know. I wish I wasn't this distracted, though. Like, it's really nipping me in the butt. Oh, this part sucks. It's not a terrible time to use a Book of Power, I guess. Because this is a pretty hefty fight. This is a lot of dudes you have to deal with at once. I, uh, yeah, there he is. You can go and fuck yourself, boy. Asking that motherfucker. Like, holy shit. Like, this just happens. There's suddenly just two Molotars you're expected to deal with. Game is just like, eh. You can do it. You're a big boy. And I'm like, I'm not a big boy. I'm the littlest boy. If there was a little boy competition, I'd be like, winning. Fucking kill streak. The little boy. The littlest. All the boys. Look at how little I am. I'm supposed to be fighting these motherfuckers with a dragon claw? Great. How about you give me a fucking phoenix rod or something cool? Like a cool mace. You can't reliably use the hourglass on these fuckers that much, sir. Way too moody. They got a charge attack too to make everything just a little bit worse. There you go. I don't think the Oven even works on these fuckers. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. I got a ring of invincibility, but that's like the big boy. That's the big boy prize. That's the one you use because you have to. But because you always go down to one, there's really no shame in just using an item as you pick him up. It's like, ah, I picked up an item! I have one already, so I might as well use this one. And it's like, yeah. That's really what it does, why it does it. But I don't like it. I feel it's a bit of a cop out. It's like, oh well, you can only bring one. It's like, uh, I guess it does encourage me to use items more often, but it really feels like a cop out. It really just feels like you didn't bother. There has to be a Wings of Wrath somewhere. I never went to my original run, I think. I think I just double backed. I was like, eh. Well. My ears are ringing. This game also does not hand out enough torches for how god-awful often it requires you to be in the space where the lighting is garbage. Oh, I see where we are. I see where this little Chinese cigarette brought me. That's cool, that's cool. I get a mystic urn. That's not half bad, really. If you really think about it. Okay, so there's like a bunch of shit. These quartz flasks. There's a lot of quartz flasks. A lot. Just a lot. And... And... I guess I get access to the Rings of Wrath. And I guess that little snarky fucker decided to show up. With his pantsuit. Who's like, look at my pantsuit. Look at how stylish I am! Don't walk around the thing, don't walk around the thing, sir. That just confuses the matter. Mm. How do you get up there again? I 
I forgot. I don't know what I've been told. Girl stuff, boy stuff. Man. Like, why the fuck even bother with that goddamn song? Oh, at least that's not I remember to get there. That's not here. We should probably go pick up the Wings of Wrath. Which are like the Grapes of Wrath, but not grape flavored. I think I'm gonna hold on to this puppy until I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Um, it's clear that I can go over there and do some shit. Um, I got the feeling I can go over here and do some shit. But I'm gonna cheat anyway, so fuck it. Let's see if I give a shit fucking video game. You're the video game here. Do you fly in there? I need no. I need a teleporter to get in there. That's a tele. Oh no! I see what's going on. Um, let's activate the wings of wrath. Whee! Oh, I get three ovums. That's not a terrible prize if you know when to use them. Um, I don't want to go over here and see what's over yonder hill. This is purely accessible in this fashion. Well, that garbage over there can go fuck itself. But you can move faster when you move diagonally. Oh wow, it's a ring of invincibility. That's not bad. That is not fucking bad. Because eventually we're going to run into a big group of problems. And having a ring of invincibility, not a terrible item to have. Really, really good. Also, I want you two cocksuckers to just fuck off already. Goddamn. Hot ziggity. Man, I forgot how good the wings are. You don't get to keep the wings when you're done. When you finish a level, you lose them. No matter where they're... It is to prevent you from taking them into levels that would be broken if you do that. Because, fuck, there will be some speedruns that are just like... Nyew! If you could take them with you, wherever you want it. If they went with you, wherever you are. <laughs> also learn, these guys are really weak. They're really not that strong when you know what you're doing. And I happen to learn that this is effective against these fuckers. They cannot hit you when you're using this. Their axes are considered physical attacks, which can just go straight through you. It's like the one fucking time that's useful. There's a lot less here now. Uh, on the... Look at this. On the downside, and this is kind of important, their red axes hurt like fuck. They can deal up to a fif uh, 56 damage. Like, Jesus Christ, do you really need that much damage on one attack? Like, mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't really know. Um, let's move on. Let's just focus on moving forward and ignore that giant seam in the sky. That, by the way, literally requires several door frames to work. Literal frames of doors. I love that part. I love how that works. Okay, so we're going to actually go somewhere else. Because over here, we can get the Hellfire Staff, or whatever it's called. Isn't there like a... Okay, so that guy's gone. That's great, because I hate his guts. Fuck him. Give him a good old-fashioned willy. <sighs> Some people might complain and be like, hmm. Why are you using cheats if you're playing it easy mode anyway and you've already beaten it? And I'm like, mm, how about fuck you? <laughs> I've already beaten it. I've already beaten it on normal. I've proven myself. Except the last level, which is bullshit. The Hellfire Staff's great. Its firing rate effectively functions as a rapid fire suppression tool. It fires so quickly that most enemies are just stun locked into oblivion. And you get lots of ammo. You get like 20 from a basic pickup and 100 from a big pickup. Okay, so these aren't accessible yet. I guess we have to do something first. Um, oh, I get how it works. The red carpet is like, go over here. You'll immediately get your Hellfire staff and you'll get your mission objective. There they are. Now we're in trouble. The Hell staff. I don't know what's called Hellfire. Just give it a little extra zing. You do your video game. I'm not going to waste my good stuff on you, though. You're, like, in a weak position. You cannot fuck with me. I do want to kill you, Kadol. You are kind of an annoyance. Regardless of how easy you are to kill. 
Yeah, that 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 just tickles your fancy, doesn't it? That's how you like it. Although time on the agent is really meant for AOE control, it does not function well as a one-on-one -on -one weapon. Even with uh, the saber claws, it doesn't. Even Ophidians, but Ophidians are just jerks. El Toreador. You are no match for El Matador. And now, we've unlocked the ancient ch Chinese secret. We can actually do what I meant to do up here. And now, I get to be super sad, because this kind of sucks. Oh wow, that lich is just cleaning the fucking house, ain't he? Even when it does give you the Phoenix Rod, it doesn't give you all that much ammo. Like, it really scams out on that fucker. Apparently you can't paint stun, um... Those guys. It's just unlikely. They're such big boys. They're the biggest boys. They're pretty fucking huge, though. For giant heads, they're huge. With the amount of saber claws you get, just use it. Just don't even fucking bother. Don't even bother being a polite man with those weapons. You're not doing yourself a favor, you're not doing the game a favor. Yeah, I noticed that, like, the Hellstaff's like, really the only weapon that seems to have a high enough firing rate that the paint chance is a reliable concept you can just use. Don't worry, there'll be a time I'll use this power book. Got three of them. I'm already thinking about places I want to use them. Because there's a couple of big showdowns that just suck. This game will just... just the next level is going to be even shitter, if I remember. It's the level that I hate the most. Because uh, it just starts off on such a rough patch. Oh, let's start off on a rough patch. Okay, we got a whole bunch of these fuckers. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Pew 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 You guys are suckers and you guys are cuckers I wish you would all just go die I'm sorry you suck! Yes. Wait, all I get is a key? What? I forgot what the green key even does. Oh well. I guess it'll be our little secret. After all, I am the master of unlocking. Did they leave this guy intact or not? That's the real question. A fucking hundred of them you get from those. Yeah, he, he, he got the stay. Does you even have a paint chance? I don't know. Maybe he's just immune. No, he's just immune during the charge attack. I guess he's a different sprite, a different entity or something. Or he enters a unique state where pain cannot be, where the pain call can't be made. Who knows? And because unlike the claw orb, you actually get like a billion shots, which is stupid. It's like the pain chance is such a powerful element. Why would you do it with this weapon that fires faster than the claw orb? This thing is highly accurate. It's a fucking plasma gun, and you give this one the big ammo blocks? Why even fucking bother? Oh, you blew up. I have way too many Phoenix Orbs, but guess who's never gonna ever use any of them, because the game does not give you the Phoenix Rod when you want it. It gives it when it's like, eh, I guess I'll give it to you. X gonna give it to you AFTER YOU WANTED IT! It's like, really? I trusted you, X. I put all my faith in you. And here you are, throwing it away for some miserly gold. And he's like, eh, I know who I am. I don't know who X is. I just know it's a name. Name people use when they're talking about giving it to people. We do not know the meaning of his name, or the purpose thereof. All we know is that when things are given, it shall be X. So it is written! So it is written. So it is written. <gasps> Let it be known! Let it be known! Yeah, this part sucks. Because down there, there's a whole bunch of bad shit going on. You trust me on that one. 
I'm telling you, nothing but the truth. Okay. Told you so. Just told you. I fucking told you. I told you so. And here you are, being all like, I don't trust you. I think you're a cheater, a liar, a miscreant. A bullshitter. But I've proven myself to you as a friend, as an ally, as a good one. I don't know why, but Ophidians still confuse me. They still do not have a full grasp as to how to avoid Ophidian attacks. I know why, something about it just confuses me. It's like, no, what do I do? What do I do right now? Do I dodge off to the left? Is that a death magerina or what? What's that for? Where's the green key door? Who knows? Maybe I already missed it. Maybe I just didn't know I was using it. I think I might as well use this one now. This is a place full of jackasses. You guys are bullies and you guys are stupid. I'm going to shoot you with this very awkward shotgun. Thing about it, this gun is very awkward in its powered up state. I don't even think it's that strong compared to most other powered up weapon versions, but. Uh. Because at some point, you kind of have to make with, do with what you got. I guess it's great for gargoyle cleanup. It's surprisingly good. Ex unless they're like the big gargoyles. The big gargoyles really don't give a shit. They're like, mm, I don't care. I mean, I could care. But I won't. And then he just sort of snark at you. Look at this goddamn hit screen. Stuff. I got five of these fuckers, man. I don't give a shit. I honestly don't care. I am loaded to the brim with lots of bullets. There's nothing out there, but I'm still shooting. Such is my conviction. A man stop shooting when all is said and done. Not before, not after, not in the middle. You want some problems? Here are some problems for you too. We had sassy boys. There they are. You piece of shit. Why did you do that? I don't appreciate it. I'm sorry, disciple of Despairal. Oh, I get it! It's Despairal! Because it's like despair! There you go. Finally, the quarter dropped! After 18 billion billion years, you finally figured it out, did you? Man, I wasted a lot, but I just don't care. That's not a good sign, by the way. If people are that empathetic, then again, things are going to go bad eventually. Because like I said, this just doesn't fucking care. It's like, here's a monster closet that appears in the nowhere. You go deal with it. Oh, because it has little moss. Where the fuck? Am I now? I've got ammo, so I'm glad. More ammo. And a bunch of coils. Damn, that's some good ammo. So this isn't a deathmatch arena, huh? This is a place you can just fucking go. Well, that only slightly complicates matters. The spit on the screen complicates matters forward, and this does. Is the point I'm trying to make. Also, this thing, like, on medium, really feels like it's balanced for, like, two players. There are so many points where, like, your DPS just doesn't keep up, and you're stuck with this room full of creatures you just have to either infight the way out or figure out a way to get the time bombs to work. You don't really get any real tools for handling this. Actually, I think I'm one secret away from what I want. From what I want! 
which is to get in that room and meet my lady friend. I don't have a lady friend, but she'd probably be in that room if I did. Like, the problem with this bow is that it's great if you're, like, actually giving a shit about your ammo consumption, because it's really good for what it does. It's alright, I guess. It's, it's serviceable. It's better than nothing. <laughs> But like the Elven Wand, it's like, you don't want to use it. There's a point where you're like, mm, I don't want to use this. I'm done. I'm done with using this particular weapon. Also, these fuckers become invisible to, like, physical attacks when they attack. Which makes them so annoying to deal with for really no reason. Oh, this is the secret level exit, isn't it? That is, isn't it? Did I push the button? Pretty sure I pushed the button. All right. Guess I gotta do more shit then. <sighs> Should about stop. Because it's been like 20 minutes, but I'll forget about that secret exit, and I haven't seen the secret level, so we'll do that one together. Oh, I see it as a little indicator. Oh, that's how it basically clues you in. Oh, that's cute. I mean, it's not that cute. When you really think about it, it's just not cute at all, but... We can pretend it is. I can pretend it is. It's so kawaii! There you go. Your Kawaii moments with Kawaii Master 5000. Actually, it's Kawaii. There's an extra E at the end because that's how fucking Japanese works. Because there's two I's. And if there's two I's, you say it twice. Actually, the way Japanese works is you just say every vowel. Period. It's all just fucking say it. You need tips saying Japanese? Just say it. Just say all of it. And you'll generally end up on top. Not always. And there's certainly some mistakes with that. But, it works better than nothing. Especially if you're a dimwit, and you really just need some help. Hello, Monster Closet. How do you feel today? Whoa, that fucker's, uh... A little bit of mischief. A little bit of mischief. That thing can fuck you up so bad, it's just unfair. Whirlwind you today, are we? I sure as fuck don't. I feel like candy, do you feel like candy? Bet you don't. I forgot, doesn't this like add more to the fucking staff room? The staff room just gets flooded with enemies. Well, like I said, the I think I'm gonna save that ring of invisibility to whenever the hell that becomes relevant. What sucks is that the the claw weapon and um, the Hellfire staff they become garbage. Like so many weapons become these vibe. Like the 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 this and this benefit the most, as does the Necromancer Gauntlets because you can sift in health. Uh, the fire staff too, but the other weapons just become specialty weapons. They suddenly become these specialist tools, more so than general purpose weapons, and it just sucks. It, it makes it so unpleasant. Oh fuck! I got two, I got three of these. What can I use? Why not use a bunch of these and fuck some days up? You guys are all cucks. Especially you, motherfucker. What were you doing? I sent a polite letter. And this is how I'm repaid. With vicious behavior. Truly vicious. Utterly repulsive. There you go. Why would you even put enemies in here? There's an exit, like, right the fuck there. Well, let's go see the secret level next time in Brothers Onslaught. Hope you enjoy me being lost, because the main feature of today's event, me being lost. It's not a good event. It sucks, really. But if you like me being lost, well, congratulations, you just won the capital award. Over, boy. Show me that ugly mug.
So we're dealing with a nice cityscape. I do love the cityscape levels. They're great. They, they generally work really well in heretic setting. The big citadels, like especially large interiors, generally don't. There's just something about them that I don't like and usually exploits some of the enemy strengths. Although the later levels are kind of, ah, uh, but they're uneven. One of the biggest problems with the, the next, the original next level start is I think it starts off in really uneven terrain. You kind of have to fuck your way around, and it just sucks. It just sucks. This looks great, though. Like, clearly a lot of props were designed for this kind of environment. I've got Nitro Golems that are super tough. If anyone asks you what is the toughest boy, you tell them the Nitro Golem, because they're like out of the blue and you can't identify them. Which, this game does a lot. There's the, the Gargoyles and the Fire Gargoyles and you don't know the difference, and it's like, Jesus Christ, why did you do that? And they're like, no, no. They look identical, but I guess one is slightly stronger and also can shoot projectiles. Same with the Nitro Golems. Like, really? You need that? And they're like, yep, yeah, we needed that. No good fucking reason, but we just wanted it, I guess. <laughs> That'll be for next time. Yay!